Um, I view seed money as, as part of the bigger puzzle of, of the, the funding questions for, for the coming uh, seven year period. Um, I mean, we all know the, the story about, uh, about the, the funding situations uh, since, since the establishment of the strategy four years ago. It was in the middle of the funding period and, and mainly the, the, uh, the uh, ATC programs ended up uh, funding the flagship projects, uh, etc. And uh, our objectives are for the coming seven years are a bit uh, higher than that. Um, if you can remember one figure from, from, uh, from this workshop, uh, make it 50 billion euros. I said it yesterday as well, but I believe in, in the school of uh, repetition as, as a communication tool. 50 billion euros. It's, it's quite a lot of money, but this is just cohesion funds. In comparison, I think the Swedish uh, national budget is about th three times that every year. And, and we have eight countries uh, around the Baltic, uh, the Baltic Sea. <laughs> right. Um, let's see. I think the, the, the function of, of these seed projects is therefore to, to have the projects in the pipeline for when we get the success in aligning the funding uh, for the coming period, as Commissioner Hahn said, said yesterday. And as part of this, certainly from, from our perspective, is to, to promote the Baltic Sea region strategy uh, as, a, as tackled through the priority area coordinators and the horizontal action leaders. And, um, and this is why we ask for, for the for the uh, facility administered by the by the uh, Schleswig-Holstein, that priority area coordinators and horizontal or horizontal action leaders provide letters of support if they are going to be considered as eligible for for support from the from uh, from the fund. I think a lot of a lot of good uh, good points have been raised uh, earlier today. I mean, we are looking for quality of operations. We're looking for the right operations. We are looking for an idea of where to go for the for the funding of the main phase of of the project operations. And I think what we've said about uh, giving advice from from these facilities on where to where to go uh, to 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 seek. Financing later is, is a very good uh, good uh, good recommendations for 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 these uh, programs, and I'm also very happy to see that the dialogue between the four uh, institutions providing this uh, this funding has continued since uh, since it got off the ground, I believe, in October last year, um, shortly after decisions about uh, about the the European. Uh, uh, the strategy seed mining uh, facility was was established. Now, let me just say a couple of words on on concretely what we are doing in the European Commission at the moment in order to 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 align funding, as as we call it. It's a bit sort of tribal language here, but whatever. Um, now, as you remember, the regulations they have provisions and say that. The, the European Structural and Investments Funds should uh, provide the tools to, to reach the objectives of macro-regional strategies. These, this is there. This has been there for a long time. And you also may remember the, the conclusions uh, in, in the, this summer's evaluation of macro-regional strategies. Uh, we clearly say that from the European Commission side, we see the macro-regional strategies as a horizontal responsibility of the governments involved. And personally, I see funding as a core part of governance, of taking up the responsibility horizontally to, to reach the objectives of the strategy. And seed money, seed projects is the start of this. We expect projects that have received seed funding to contribute to the objectives of the strategy. So therefore, what we do, we receive partnership agreements. We scan them. Do the countries around the Baltic Sea uh, involve the, the strategic objectives in the analysis of 
challenges and opportunities, what can we do something about in the coming period? Do the member states include the strategic objectives in the priorities for funding, their, their strategies for, for expenditure in the coming period? And do the member states describe how they want to coordinate between the different funds? I mean, even at the European level, there is such a multitude of funds that it's sometimes difficult to have a, have a good overview. And if you add to that national funds, regional funds, uh, international funds, I mean, we have three of them here. Um, if you add to it external uh, funding from neighboring countries, the uh, one source that hasn't been mentioned here is the uh, EEA and Norway grants, which I believe at the moment provide about 100 million euros to, to the region. These are also funds that maybe the recipient countries can, can uh, align, take their responsibility, step up, uh, because if we assume together, if we all assume that the strategy represents the strategic objectives of the countries involved, well then, there's a lot, a lot of funding that can be utilized, but that represents a choice. And therefore, it, that's, that's the reason why uh, Commissioner Hahn mentioned yesterday that we need to see, we need to see a much clearer intention. And that was the message to, to the member states in, in, in his speech last, uh, yesterday. We need to see the clear intention, as described in partnership agreements and programs, that member states, regions, will prioritize, will do something about the objectives they have set themselves. I mean, saving the sea or getting a good environmental status in the sea by 2021, that's a pretty hairy objective, so to say. But, but certainly it's possible to start, even though, if, even though the water will only be exchanged fully within the 30-year period, we can start. And if we don't start now, then we'll have to start sometime. We've also heard that, that uh, the, the Boston Consulting Group has identified the economic benefits of it. Baltic Stern has identified the socio-economic benefits of uh, saving the sea, the strategic objective. And we also, we also have this integrated approach where we see economic development, where we see um, the environment as part of the same package. This is part of, of sustainability, both of them. We need jobs and we need the environment and they are interconnected. And we have connectivity as, as a, more like a facilitating uh, development. So, I mean, I'm a, I'm a sort of careful optimist. I think it's possible, but it does require some choices to be made in the next couple of months in order to really make this clear in the, in the program documents so that because we know, we know that there is exchange of staff everywhere and the documents is what lasts. That's the institutional memory. When we get a new employee in our organizations, they're going to read these documents and they are going to ask themselves, okay, what did they think back in 2014 when they wrote this program? What do they want to achieve? So this is an indication on where we are coming from, where we are going. And in, in that line, I would like to just uh, finish by, by, by sort of a semi-question, semi-comment, semi-hope. And that is that I hope that some of the project that we have uh, seen operating in the last couple of uh, four years, the flagship projects, have recommendations that we will now see being taken up by projects also that are seed funded uh, in, 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 the, uh, in this uh, bridging period and that this will cause us to, to see real development on the ground on actually doing what is needed to be done to reach the objectives of the strategy. Thank you.